Hello everybody, I am Angry Bird. Welcome back to another episode of Warsaw. Hopefully you enjoy this one. Drop any comments you've got down below. Uh, let's go down and pick up the loot from here. Uh, we might have to leave... Oh, that's a quite a lot of ammo to leave behind. I don't really want to leave that ammo behind. Um, let's use one of the flares. Let's just use them all. Pick up the ammo. Uh, so we're going to continue south. We, we've got one more main engagement left to go. Actually, we're fairly low on health, but actually, this is the uh, this is the main engagement. So let's take this one, and hopefully, if we can win this one, um, well, I guess we'll just have to see see what's in store for us. Who are we up against? We're up against a pioneer rifleman, a Rona gunner, a Rona grunt, and a Rona officer. The uh, Ronas tend to stick together. Um, oh, he is like really low health. Uh, but actually, we ought to put the no. First things first, we need to hit the uh, we need to hit the old mangler. Oh, I think we got three out of four hits there, so that was decent. And we have got cover. We ought to s move her forwards, but at the same time, he needs to heal. Uh, so we'll get the double heal on the crit heal on the doctor, but I'd rather that been on the uh, um, Henrik on the front, and he's down low again. <laughs> Let's just heal Henrik again and make sure he doesn't die. There's a lot of enemy in this turn. They got they got a lot more turns than me. Um, I think we're gonna use the open fire. Oh, he's down to one health. I don't know whether to take, take... Yeah, I think I should. I think I should just go for the kill. Oh, just swap them, but I don't think that really makes a difference for me. Okay, so let's get the second Panzer Shrek shot off. Oh, we didn't miss the first guy, but we did get some nice hits on the rear. Okay, this swap run, I don't know whether that's the end of the world. I think I ought to hit these two in the rear, try and get those, those two taken down. They are pretty low. In fact, there's quite a few that are quite low. So, I think we're doing okay. Henrik... Henrik's actually... I don't really like Henrik that much. He, uh... He doesn't seem to have... I, I've not found that he has um, great useful abilities, so he's really hurting me right now to, like, use him. <laughs> um, I can get the volley off on both of those, though, so I think I will do that. Uh, maybe I need to rank him up a bit more. Um, where are we? She's she can get the open fire on those two at the rear. Yeah, potentially get the kill. Yes, does get the kill. That's nice. Uh, but now they're spread out a bit more, which doesn't help me as much. I think actually Hemrick, I'd like to swap him uh, with Kristoff once again. Get him at the back. Uh, I also want the heels. I want the heels coming out. You've not played a single second. I was just, I was just wondering. Oh, they've, they've swapped him back again. Right, let's get the double heal out. Ooh, that's a nice heal. So at least that re, re, um, what's the word? Relieve some pressure. Uh, Vladislav, uh, I think actually we ought to get the triage out on these three, uh, which gives us extra resistance damage. So we probably should have done that earlier. And Kaja, well, actually, she's not really got too much she can fire on. Kristoff can use a single shot. Potentially get the kill here. Yes. That's a nice kill. I needed that kill. Um, I 
but we do need to swap him swap them back round you've seen some reviews yeah I am um, I didn't pick this up on release this is my first playthrough um, I picked it up I was gonna pick it up anyway but it went into the Christmas sale so I actually managed to get some some dollar off which was pretty good I uh, like I say I was gonna pick it up anyway but yeah I've, I've actually really enjoyed it it's uh, been been a great game it is fairly casual um, but then that's quite good because I play a lot of Steel Division and that can get quite intensive with concentrating and getting all the micro done so it gives me a chance to kind of relax a little bit um, which which helps Oh, I thought I was going to switch him again then. Um, Kaja can get the open fire. He's got less damage because he's behind cover. So let's go for the officer. Oh, we get the 21 crit. He's nearly down. Potentially, uh, Henry could get the kill uh, with the pistol. Hopefully. Actually, it might be better to use the uh, volley. Yes, it had higher accuracy, so it does get the kill there. Uh, just one soldier left to kill. I think we're okay on health. We're fairly low, but I think this is the last engagement. Um, so we should be okay. I did swap him round. Luckily, I got that shot off. Ooh, this is going to be... Hopefully we can get it in this round. Yeah, 10 crit. Uh, that means that hopefully we should be able to get it with the next attack. Um, let's go with the volley. Yes, we do get the 6 damage kill. And that should be the end of this mission. Yeah, so we do complete the mission. There is still an event that we could possibly get, so maybe just let's have a quick look. See if that shows up immediately. Because I have a feeling that the events actually make quite a big deal to the uh, outcome. So hidden belongings, someone must have hidden these goods with a great sense of urgency. Right now they are yours to take. Uh, so... Those two... Uh, yeah, actually I don't really need all of those. Actually, I can use the uh, bandages. So I think I think the bandages ha do persist. I'm not a hundred percent sure if the bandages persist to the uh, after the mission. So we'll at least try that. And we'll take the, uh... Actually, we'll take the, the flare, and then we'll use the flare. Oh, we did We did find a loot box. That's the first time the flare has ever worked. <laughs> that is the first time the flare ever worked. Um, so yeah, let's just take the compass. And we ought to be using these compass. Because they, uh, we've got barely any action points left. I think if we run out of action points, we fail the mission, so I can't run out. German leftovers, more loot. Um, I'm going to fit it all in. I'm going to have to get rid of the compass. I think I take the long ammo because that's the main bit of loot here. We've still got the potential for uh, maybe finding that event. Yes, here it is. This is what I was looking for. So, a distraction. What is this? Perhaps it warrants your attention. Okay. So, bleeding out. Your group is called to assist with the evacuation of a field hospital in one of the local churches. The word has gone out that the Nazis have discovered the hospital and so, in advance of the unavoidable sweep, the hospital has to be relocated as quickly as possible. Time is running out and establishing certain priorities may be crucial 
to the success of the effort. So we can uh, identify and secure the most critical medical supplies first. We can focus on carrying out the beds with the heavily wounded or we can send someone to be on the lookout for enemy movement. Now I know that the doctor has got really high academic skill. So I'm going to choose this one because I can't recall what the other skills are on the other characters. Uh, so we're going to use the academics. In fact, actually you can check. Surely you can check then. Oh yes, I've never noticed this before, but you can actually check. Okay, so it's between academics and brawn. So identify and secure the most crucial medical supplies. Or focus on carrying out the beds with the most heavily wounded. I think I'm actually going to choose brawn because this might give me like morale for the uh, mission area. Yeah, seven morale in Wola. And that is really important for me. And by the way, try hardo. I am terrible at pronunciation really really bad so i apologize because obviously you be in polish i'm going to be murdering all of the references all of the names i'm going to be absolutely murdering <laughs> sacrifice henrik <laughs> well well we are victorious we do manage to uh we do manage to get get the end the mission um it looks like Kajo is really injured but that's not too bad because she's just like she's not a main character so uh, that's not too bad for us and the others are pretty heavily injured too we get a commendation we do get a damage grenade although there's not a lot i've found so far to use that with and we get a lot of stuff which is good but i am worried yeah i was very worried about that ouch so day 44 13th of september 1944 momentum down to 63.4 percent uh, we're massively losing on war assets and okata and praga have both surrendered yeah big oof yeah i i think this is basically how this kind of works is i think it's kind of like xcom if you've ever played xcom where it's just kind of impossible to uh or it's really 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 hard to like save all of the areas um so okata and praga they both surrendered Sh shrod Miasia, that is like probably going to surrender next round and the others should sur survive at least one more mission but they might surrender soon as well so we really could be towards the end of this game now i'm very worried that we're going to lose this game at any second um we do have an event what else remains for me so what else remains for me urged by the sudden din of panic you enter a circle of onlookers that have gathered at your base an armed man one you recognize as a fellow resistance fighter sways back and forth on shaky feet his ashen face contorted in equal measure by despair and delusion slurring out words in abrupt chunks of speech he gets more agitated the longer the situation unfolds and the gun in his hands is not making things any less tense okay so see he sounds like he's drunk <laughs> Um, I could use charm try to calm him down enough to lower the weapon I could attempt to knock him out I could observe the situation for now but actually this symbol means I could uh, lose someone I think or there will be no risks open fire on the man I would like to go for charm but I yeah we don't have anyone with any charm skill so we do have a brawn scale it is Kristoff but he's like my best guy he he is like my absolute best guy i butchered stradivice <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm sorry i genuinely i apologize i don't i don't do it intentionally i'm just so bad at pronunciation even my own language actually i'm not no i'm not too bad at english it, but literally if it is not english i just can't pronounce it languages was like my worst subject at school by by an absolute mile it was i did all right at school but language 
No, not a chance. So I think I'm going to attempt to knock him out. We are going to use Kristoff, but he's like my best guy. Uh, so we, potentially we could lose Kristoff if this goes wrong. Okay, I think that's all right. So in a lively sequence of events, your teammate's powerful hook to the face instantly knocks the daylight out of the unstable man. Hopefully someone will be able to tend to him properly after he wakes up. Whew. I think... Uh, I don't know what, like we didn't get any rewards for that whatsoever. I think maybe that was one of those missions or events where it could only go badly. So at least getting nothing is kind of like a victory. Right, so day 44, 13th of September, 1944. Let's have a, let's have a quick look at the codex. So let's open the codex and I've kind of been trying to do these one at a time, so that gives us some flavor as we've been going through, but I think the, I think we're about to end. I think we're about to lose, and there's still loads left to look at, so maybe we'll do another uh, playthrough in the future where we get to see more, but let's have a look at the uh, German enemies for now. Um, what do we want to look at? I... I think I kind of want to look at the... Uh, the worth Garret 42 from earlier. So we only saw this once, the worth Garret 42, part of the Nebelwerfer family of rocket launchers. Unlike the more widespread six barreled 15 centimeter models, the, the launcher sports an open metal frame. The back blast of its rockets tends to kick up a lot of debris, forcing the crew to take cover before firing. Interesting. So these, yeah, as Frublord was saying earlier, um, these were on the side of the Worth Ramen, so... Yeah. I did, We didn't see them open fire, and I, I'm kind of glad, but at the same time, I kind of want to see how much damage they actually do. I'm imagining I might have lost someone, though, if, if we did. Let's have a quick look at the morgue. Um, so... Casimirez, the, the scoundrel, did die on the 19th of August, 1944. We've made it through to the 13th of September. So nearly a full month since uh, Casimirez, Casimirez uh, died. He actually, and, and died trying to, uh, what was it, recover an unexploded bomb. So uh, trying to defuse an unexploded bomb. So bad times for Casimirez. Casimirez. 